Cinema 5D Video Review. Hi, my name is Sebastian Wober. I'm an Austrian based filmmaker and DOP. And today I'll take a look at the Jack 35 electronic follow focus system. A motor driven follow focus system like this one can be a very useful tool for a cameraman in many situations. One of them being that it allows you to control your focus alone and easily while resting your arms where they belong, thus giving you better control and stability over your camera in a handheld situation. The Jack 35 system is basically the first affordable system of its kind that can fit into a DSLR filmmaker's budget. So I was really, really excited to test it. Uh, Alright, so uh, let's go on and see if it delivers what we would expect and where its weaknesses are. First, let's see what's in the box. What I received was an LP6 battery plate, the thumb controller, the motor and cables. What you see here costs $530, which is uh, about 375 euros for us European people and uh, shipping within the US is $10 and to most international destinations it's between $40 and $80. To set up the device I used my Vocus handheld rig. The battery plate has a quarter inch thread for mounting which is directly milled into the plastic so this thread either has to be treated very carefully or probably won't live very long. Okay. The battery slides on easily but unfortunately I noticed that it also slides off very easily. So you might want to tape it. The next thing is the thumb controller. You can either slide it onto a normal 15 mm rod like, like so, for example, to control it with your thumb. Or you can take this thing off and uh, use the quarter inch thread, which is here, to attach it with a gripping accessory like I did to control it like this. The motor fits onto one 50mm rod. You can place it on each side, lock it in place but don't attach it to the lens gear yet. Now connect the included cables, which are here. The great thing about these cables is that uh, they are standard. Uh, here you have a standard 12 volt power cable and there is a uh, 3.5 mm headphone jack cable which uh, can also be found in all possible lengths anywhere in the world and they are very affordable and I think that's a really great system. Uh, once the cables are connected into the battery and the motor will quickly get into position right away. Gently press the motor towards your lens gear and lock it in place. The motor fits very tightly and even using cinema lenses I didn't find it to get loose at any point. One of the problems of this affordable focusing system is that the one important feature of more expensive lens control systems is missing. Usually you would set or the motor would automatically uh, search for your lens's infinity and close focus endpoints, so it will never run past these limitations of your lens. The Jack 35 motor, however, will go past your lens's limitations with a lot of force. I mean, it's great that these motors are powerful to allow fast focusing, but their power will in most cases force your setup out of place, or in the worst case, it could obviously even destroy your lenses and points if you go past them. Uh, that's why I recommend not to use fragile photo lenses that have hard stops and points, like the Tokina line, for example. Normal Canon lenses will work fine because they don't have hard stops. Cinema grade lenses are strong enough to withstand the Jack 35 model. The Jack 35 electronic follow focus is very responsive and fast. The thumb controller lets you easily find the right focus because instead of being controlled through acceleration, as some uh, other follow focus systems are, the motor will accurately imitate any movement of your thumb. During use I found the response to be sufficiently fast and precise to focus accurately. The biggest problem of the Jack 35 electronic focus is that it's noisy. And this is very unfortunate because in many situations you will not be able to use it. When you focus slower, obviously the motor is more quiet. Um, but unfortunately, there is this second noise that is audible most of the time um, 
And this is the motor working against uh, the force that it's dealing with. Uh, for example, when I, when I pull it here, the motor will work against it and you can hear, probably through my uh, mic here, that, it, that it's working and making this uh, weird noise. So when you have the motor too strongly attached to the lens gear, then you will constantly then you will constantly hear this noise. And it's a good idea to relieve the motor a little bit at this point, to prevent the sound. Uh, to prevent sound problems further, I took the second motor I received from Jack35. I, I made a little test. I wrapped a kitchen towel around the motor and enclosed it in gaff tape. The high frequency noises were considerably more quiet but still audible in many situations and there was this uh, subsonic noise that kept running through the, uh, through the camera handheld rig so the vibrations of the motor were still there. Uh, when I went to DigiRental, my favorite DSLR uh, rental in Vienna, to test the CP2 primes, I recorded some conversations with a shotgun microphone. In this clip I used the tele shotgun mic through my Zoom H4. In some situations the noise from the motor will not be a problem, but in others it might be. Another advantage of an electronic system like this one is the possibility to remote control your camera's lens. Whether it's your camera attached to a car mount or other unaccessible situations, a remote focus comes in very, very handy. Many times it's also needed when, for example, using a steady cam or a crane or jib arm. So, to get another pro opinion on this product, I invited my colleague Johnny to share his thoughts on the electronic follow focus by Jack35. Sebastian! Hi Johnny! How are you? Long time no see. Fine, thank you. I was talking about the follow focus and I was wondering what you thought about it. Um, the concept is very good. My problem is that I'm a documentary style uh, shooter and when I shoot most of the time documentaries, I'm um, following people. Someone is there or if I'm doing the sound by myself sometimes, that can happen too. And this particular product, even if it's a really great idea, it's extremely noisy. I know it can be very helpful if you do music videos, if you do um, commercials when sound is not important. But um, yeah, for me, I'm sorry, it won't work. Also, some of the solutions, it's, you know, these are solutions. I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, the same type of product with um, just to be more quiet or silent, it might work for documentary style. It's, it's a no-go. Sorry. All right, thank mm -hmm. you. So to sum it up, I must say that I'm very impressed by the Jack 35 electronic follow focus. I'm impressed by its price. I think it's very reasonable and its functionality, its speed and accuracy. Unfortunately, there is this problem with the noise and uh, it prevents us from using it in many situations. Um, yeah, but uh, I still think that there are many applications that you can use this uh, follow focus for uh, and it's a great product for many DSLR shooters out there. If you enjoyed this review and plan on getting a Jack 35 follow focus yourself, you will find the links in the Cinema 5D article related to this video and you're very welcome to share your thoughts with the community in the comments and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Cinema 5D, the forum for DSLR filmmakers.